there's a lot of emerging trends around technology. What are you seeing that you're excited about, that you're hopeful about, and is there anything that you're concerned about? Um, you know, I, uh, what I'm excited about is when I see uh, responsible um, manufacturers mm. uh, that really do care about the end product and the consumer. Those are rare gems. Uh, what I'm concerned about is when we talk about tech, technology, I don't see a lot of evidence of the leaders in that space um, interested in anything more than leveraging technology to make a lot of money, frankly. And I, what I'm constantly speaking about, in fact, I just came from a big uh, cannabis and science uh, event in uh, Portland, Oregon, yeah. is um, to implore that industry not to follow in the footsteps of irresponsible 20th century industrialists because um, we're in the 21st century and we're only 18 years into it. And so what happens now at the beginning of a century historically sets the trajectory for the next 100 years. 100 years ago, we were sitting around rooms like this, women trying to get the vote. So a lot can happen in 100 years, and uh, the choices that we make now should not echo the past, but um, leave a trail for the future. And uh, everything we have to look at differently. I'm not really, uh, I actually think that we have to start dialing things back. Uh, too much has been introduced that um, wasn't really carefully thought out. And we have to uh, think about that. You know, when we talk about technology, I mean, I, um, I turn the Wi-Fi off in my house every night. Last thing I do before I go to bed, because um, that is discombobulating our natural energy field, especially during the hours when we're supposed to be regenerating our body. And that's true across the board. Um, there's just, I don't use microwave ovens. I don't understand why anyone would still be using a microwave oven. Those EMFs, first of all, you know, change the molecular structure of the food you're eating. Really? Is, do we need that? Put an old school frying pan skillet on your stove and heat things up. That's what I do. I got rid of my, um, you know, microwave oven. That's, you know, it's, uh, it, again, you know, you are what you eat. Set your standards higher because almost all of the disease that we're experiencing today is because of the terrible way we're living. So, you know, and obviously food is right there. You know, it, it's all the highly processed food. Do you know that if you eat 12 hot dogs a month and kids that eat 12 hot dogs a month, that's not that much. That's three dogs a week of like the normal industrial farmed manufactured hot dogs. They increase their risk of pancreatic cancer by 20%. I mean, it, these kids are eating, you know, drinking soda and that, increased, that, that increases obesity by 300%. It's increasing diabetes, whether it's diet soda or or high uh, corn syrup, uh, sweetened sugar uh, sodas. It increases your risk of diabetes because you're tricking the brain into releasing insulin if it's diet soda. Very high in acid. Cancer loves acid, hates alkaline. So. You know, make that your barometer too. Start thinking about all these chronic illnesses. I mean, when you watch these commercials for pharmaceutical drugs with all these, you know, inflammatory responses, autoimmune responses, you know, that 
they talk about all these diseases like they're really something that just happens. Uh, they don't just happen. They're usually the end stage of a long period of inflammation. So hone in on your body. You are the thermostat of your body. You know when you feel at an optimum. Every single day, that's a balancing act of mind, body, and spirit. Every day, you have to keep yourself in balance. Why? So that your immune system operates at an optimum. If your immune system is compromised because of the foods that you're eating, I mean, why, why, why is so many people talking about leaky gut? And leaky gut is at the core of all this, these inflammatory autoimmune responses. Well, that's the glyphosate and all the chemicals that are in industrial farm foods. So, you know, uh, go wild, go pasture raised, and go organic. Because if you don't go organic, you are asking for it. Asking for it. <laughs>